3,000 years old. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to Hypothetically Dope. My name is Michael Joel, and today I am checking out Episode 7 of House of the Dragon. On the last episode, we got a time jump. We got some new actors, which I heard some people say that they are not fans of that. A lot of people say they should have just used makeup and prosthetics and stuff to make the young actresses look older, which I agree with. That would have been cool, but if they do another time jump and we have the kids grown up, It'd be kind of weird if they looked older than their mother. So I can kind of see why they did that. Looking forward to this episode, seeing where they take it. Last episode was nuts. Let's check it out. Episode 7, Driftmark. Let's go. All right, let's go. Lady Lena. Oh man. Hey. He's back. All right. Baby. <laughs> wow. Is this guy just gonna go full on villain now? Not that he's been good before, but. That kid needs a slap. Oh, damn, it just sinks right there. How many bodies they got down there? Damn, bunch of dragons. I wonder if Otto's gonna have a, a little bit of a grudge too. Your little cousins have lost their mother. Could use a kind word. I have an equal claim to sympathy. Chase. She put her in the wall in Lord Lionel's heart. Oh, yeah. It would not be appropriate. The Valarians are our kin, and the Strongs are not. Dragons. The flesh. Damn, she loves those bugs. We have nothing in common. She's our sister. You marry her then. I would perform my duty if Mother had only betrothed us. <laughs> if only. The strength in the family. Keep our Valyrian blood pure. She's an idiot. She's your future queen. We actually do have one thing in common. We both fancy creatures with very long legs. So they are gonna marry off one of Rhaenyra's sons to her? Or marry her off to one of Rhaenyra's sons? No, strong son's been staring at you since the moment we arrived, your grace. Unabashedly. It is only a look of pride, Sir Criston. Laris is the new Lord of Harrenhal. Uh oh. God, that guy. Why isn't Laris uh, at his father's and brother's funeral? He doesn't seem too sad anymore. Retrieve your patron. Damn. Uh -huh. Come on, bro. Uh -huh. 
That's an awkward funeral. Your girls had a very image of their mother. A comfort and an anguish, as I well remember. The gods can be cruel. Seems they've been especially cruel to you. Yes. You should return with us to King's Landing. It's time that you came home. Pendos is my home. And that of my children. Damon. I know we've had our differences. But let them pass with the years. There's a place for you in my court. That's something you should need. I need nothing. Brother. Sorry for your loss, my prince. No matter how fat the leech grows, it always wants for another meal. Hitting the spins. You don't mess around. The dragon's mourning too. The one that killed her probably feels real bad. She wanted to come home. And he denied her. Damon did what he thought best. Damon only ever does what is best for Damon. Mayhaps the gods have scorned us for our insatiable pride. The crown was yours until those fools at the Great Council plucked it from your head. Is it such a terrible thing for your husband to wish to win it back? The night of all nights, let us lay aside this falsehood. It's not justice for your wife that drives you, it is your own ambition. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, even now at the cost of our children. I want Driftmark to pass through Lena's line to Bela. It's a true Valarian blood. Declare it now, I'll all are gathered here, and we will say that is how we will honor Lena's memory. And disinherit our son. You would have me cast an even darker shadow over those little boys than already exists. We are alone here, Husband. You can speak the plain truth as we both know it. Rhaenyra's children are not of your blood. Hmm. But Lena's are. Damn, everybody knows, of course. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. Lenor has been restless for years, but now... He will be useless, but I at least make the effort to maintain appearances. Yeah. Now with your kids. You have more to lose. We did try to conceive a child. We performed our duty as best we could. Mm -hmm. Should have forbidden Sarwin from returning to the Riverlands. Harren's curse is said to be as strong now as it was after the conquest. It's a ghost story. Monster Otto and the Queen would gladly exploit. I do not believe Alicent capable of cold murder. Mm. You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Yes. Yes, I was a child. And look at what my life became without you. Droll tragedy. Oh, well, I wonder what you think of mine by comparison. Dude, are they going to get together again? Jesus, Rhaenyra. Uh, she sucks. Come on, it's your wife's funeral? Come on, dude. Who is watching? Somebody's got to see this. And then she talked shit about her husband when she's doing all this. In the beginning, I was really rooting for her character, but there's really nobody just like good in this show really it's like I mean that's a good thing there's like oh damn did he see 
It's good that everybody's like a complex character, but damn, those things must have to eat a lot. You never see any dragon shit anywhere, though. Damn, that thing's big. Is he gonna get that dragon now? Mm -mm. He can smell the Targaryen on him. Hell you doing, boy? <laughs> he about to roast his ass. You ain't my mama. Oh, damn. Dragon's like, I'm trying to sleep, bitch. Come on. It's like, uh, fine. Who needs sleep? <laughs> trying to shake him off. You'd think that dragon would go to one of them. Dope. Vega is my mother's dragon. Your mother's dead. And Vega has a new rider now. She was mine to claim. Then you should have claimed her. Maybe your cousins can find you a pig to ride. It would suit you. What the fuck? Come at me again and I'll feed you to my dragon. Damn. Both of their boys are freaking dicks. No. You will die screaming in flames just as your father did. Bastards. My father's still alive. He doesn't know, does he? All strong. Damn. Someone's gonna need an eye patch. I will have answers. Young Prince was attacked by his own cousin, Your Grace. It will heal, will it not, Mister? The flesh will heal. Damn. With the eyes lost, Your Grace. Grace. Mm -mm. Luke. Show me. Show me. Who did this? They attacked me. He attacked Baylor! They took Luke's house! Luke is out! Baylor was born to him! Silence! It was my sons who were attacked and forced to defend themselves. Vile insults were levied against them. What insults? The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. What? He called us bastards. This is the highest of treasons over an insult. My son has lost an eye. You tell me, boy. Where did you hear this lie? The insult was training yard bluster. The lot of boys, it was nothing. Eamon, I ask you a question. Yes, where is Sir Leno? I do not know, Your Grace. I could not find sleep. I had gone out to walk. Entertaining his young squires, no adventure. Your king demands an answer. Who spoke these lies to you? Mamacita. It was Agon. Me. And you, boy, where did you hear such calumnies? Agon! Tell me the truth of it! We know, Father. 
everyone knows. Just look at them. Oh, man. This interminable infighting must cease! All of you! We are a family! Now make your apologies and show goodwill to one another. Damn, he wants it so your bad. Your father, your grandsire, your king demands it! I feel like this is just the beginning of their fighting. Aemond has been damaged permanently, my king. Goodwill cannot make him whole. I know, Alicent. But I cannot restore his eye. No, because it's been taken. What would you have me do? There is a debt to be paid. Uh oh, eye for an eye? I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. Oh, shit! <laughs> do not allow your temper to guide your judgment. If the king will not seek justice, the queen will. Sir Criston, what? bring me the eye of Lucerus Velarium. Mother! Alison. He can choose which I to keep a privilege he did not grant my son. You will do no such thing. Stay your hand. No, you were sworn to me! Wow. Holy shit. As your protector, my queen. This matter is finished. Do you understand? Anyone whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. She's gonna snap. Oh, Alison, fuck. Stay with the king! Hold your breath! Do not suggest that, Alison! Do not suggest that, Alison! Do your hand, Paul! No! You've gone too far! I. What have I done? But what was expected of me? Forever upholding the kingdom, the family, the law. Will you flout it all to do as you please? Alicent, let her go! Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? It's trampled under your pretty foot again. Release the blade, Alison. And now you take my son's eye. And to even that you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? Hiding beneath the cloak of your own righteousness. But now they see you as you are. <laughs> Oh, shit. Did she cut her wrist? Damn, shit's getting crazy. Do not mourn me, mother. It was a fair exchange. I may have lost an eye. But I gained a dragon. Oh, man. Oh, man. He wants to keep the family together so bad, but it's crumbling. Damn, he's a little shit, too. I thought it was just his older brother. I've conducted myself in a manner unbefitting my station. Already the word is spreading, the gossip speculating I had gone mad and ensured my husband's favor will forever rest on her. I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. I even doubted its existence. It was an ugly thing, I regret it. We play an ugly game. Oh, man. He's supporting it. for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. Mm. Rhaenyra. You see her for what she is. What the king's stubbornness has wrought. Now go to him. Be penitent. Plead the injury to your son. And I promise you in time, you and I together will prevail. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. Damn, so he can just take the dragon like that. Oh, man. Ooh. Mmm. What I miss? But I have failed you, Rhaenyra. I tried. I hate the gods for making me as they did. I do not. You are an honorable man. With a good heart. <laughs> it's a rare thing. By the way, I had sex with Damon. You deserve better than what I have been. You deserve a husband. I've asked them to have wine ready for you on the ship. To help you sleep. He's not looking so good. Oh, they got a new dragon. Big ass dragon. There's that fucking guy. If it's an eye you want, balance the scales. I am your servant. That will not be necessary. But your devotion is not going unnoticed. 
These are dangerous times. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend. Is she gonna have him kill the princess? I'm wait till cool, my queen. Alicent, come on. She's getting ready to fight dirty. I need you, uncle. It's so weird to hear her say uncle. Oh shit. We could not marry unless Leonor were dead. Oh god. I know. Come on, don't kill him. Damn, she sucks. I heard about your exploits in the stepstones. Sakal. There are places across the narrow sea where it doesn't matter what a man's name is. Only how much gold he possesses. What are you asking of me, my lord? A quick death. One with witnesses. <laughs> Who let you in here? Why are you in my father's hall? Is he gonna tell him? You have always looked down on me. Oh no. You forget yourself. My lord. Please. Come on. This will cost Lord Corliss and Princess Rhaenys their only remaining child. No! How did you let this happen? No! In my fucking home! Tell me! They will fear what else we might be capable of. Dude, what the f Wow. What a bitch. Well, that was quick. Everybody's just fine with it. Seems a little suspicious, don't you think? He's gonna kill him. Wait, what? Oh, damn. So who is in the fire? Wow. Damn. Yeah, I- oh. Now you're really starting to see everybody's true colors. See, on one hand, King's and Allison's kids, I mean the girl, she seems like kind of a weirdo, but she doesn't seem, uh, evil or anything yet. But, dude, her sons both suck. And then Rhaenyra sucks, and obviously Damon's a dick, but their sons seem like, I mean, alright kids. Oh, man. I really don't know who to root for. I'm rooting for the king, but I know he's not really gonna get what he wants, I'm sure. It's so sad, he wants to... He wants his family to be all just one big happy family, but... That is not gonna happen. On one hand, I'm on Alicent's side, and... It's true that she, like Rhaenyra... She should not be on the Iron Throne. <sighs> but her kids... Are freaking dicks themselves. So, dude, I don't know who I want to be on the Iron Throne. Now her and Damon are together. They're going to be a problem. But man, he didn't die. Lenor, wow, that was good. They really got me. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't die. So they got away together. That's probably going to come back. And then right after that, Damon and Rhaenyra. I wonder how the king is going to feel about that. Now Alicent and her kids, they got the biggest dragon. So yeah, there's going to be an all-out war between Rhaenyra and Damon and then... I'm sure the king is going to want to be neutral, but Alicent and, and, uh, Laris Strong, he's going to, man, yeah, I really don't know who to root for. I mean, right now I'm definitely leaning more on Alicent's side, but yeah, I guess that's a good, that's a good thing. Everyone is a complex character who's not really good or bad. You can see from the different perspectives. Damn, Otto's back in the picture. Man, things are getting real complicated. But yeah, really like that episode. It's amping up. That's episode 7, so we only have... I don't even know how many episodes. 12 this season? 11? 12? So yeah, we're running through this season. It's going by fast. But yeah, that was episode 7. 
let me know down below what you guys thought of this one who are you guys siding with where do you think the story is going to go if you haven't read the book if you read the book please don't spoil anything for me thank you guys for stopping by my name is michael joel and i will see you guys next time peace